Hello and welcome back to our channel. We're so happy to have you here today. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a bobble stitch. It's a really great stitch to create some texture and you can use it for blankets, for dishcloths, or even for borders if you prefer to do that. So let's get into it. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using this rainbow cotton yarn. It's an 8-6 um, size 2 on here. However, it's more like a size 3 comparative to size 3 paint box yarn. And to pair with it today, I'm just going to be using this 3.75mm uh, crochet hook from Crochet Society. Once we've gathered our supplies, we can get started. So for today's tutorial, I have worked up a bit of a swatch here just to get us started. Now, this is what the bobble stitch looks like, and you can kind of see here, they're like little bumps on the surface, and they're quite raised, so they add a lot of texture to your pattern, and I think that they're really, really pretty. Now, what you'll notice when you're creating this pattern is there's going to be a good side where you're going to see the, bo the bobble stitches, and on the other side, it looks pretty much flat. Um, there's not going to be any protrusions like there is on the one side. So this is considered the bad side and this is considered the good side. So how these work is you're going to want to do a row of bobbles and then a row of single crochet or half double crochet, whatever it is that you're having in between so that you're always working your bobbles in one direction so they're always going to be protruding out the same way. So we'll get started here. So to begin for our bobble stitch, what we're gonna start with is we're going to yarn over. Now realistically, this stitch is basically just a lot of double crochets crocheted together, if that's easier for you to understand it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna insert our hook into this next stitch right here. We're going to yarn over and pull through so we have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through like we would with a double crochet. Now we have two loops on our hook. Now instead of yarning over and pulling through those last two loops, we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert right back into that stitch. We're going to yarn over and pull through, so we have four loops on our hook now. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, and now we have three. Now the end goal is to have five loops on our hook before we're finished. So we're going to yarn over, and we're going to insert right back into that same stitch. Yarn over, pull through, so we have one, two, three, four, five on our hook yarn over and pull through two. So now we have four, so we're gonna do that one more time. Yarn over, insert back into that loop, that, that spot there. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And now you should have five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five. Now to finish off the bobble, we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all five loops on our hook. Just like that. Now as is, it's pretty flat. Um, there's no, it doesn't really stick out. So to finish off this stitch and to make it stick out, into this next stitch right beside here, we're going to place a single crochet. And I like to kind of pull mine tight just to really make sure that my bobble is going to stick out. And then I just push out any excess yarn out to the side where the bobbles are, and there is our bobble. Now I'm just going to make my way to the next spot for the bobble here. I just have four stitches in between my bobbles, and I'm just, I'm kind of offsetting my bobbles so they're not all in one row. So we'll do that again. We're going to start with yarning over, inserting our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. 
yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So we have four on our loop, our hook, we need one more. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have all five. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all five. And we're gonna place a single crochet in the stitch following. I'm just gonna do my three more single crochets. And we will do one more here. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, not yarn over, and pull through two. That's two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's three. Yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five, and place our single crochet into the next stitch. One more to finish this row. And that is our bobble stitches. Now, I would chain one now and then I'm going to go back and do one single crochet in each stitch along and then when we're working into our baubles if you're starting with a bobble at the very beginning of the row you're going to chain three prior to creating your bobble. So what I mean by that is right here at the end of your row instead of chaining one if you're going to be creating your baubles, you're going to do three chains and turn your work and you're going to start your baubles that way. But I like to have my row of single crochets in between. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm just going to go back and do a single crochet in each stitch along all the way to the other end. So that is how you complete a bobble stitch. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and I can't wait to see what you guys create using this stitch. It's so beautiful. Please let us know in the comments down below if there's any other tutorials you're looking for. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, we hope you guys have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.